Chapter 7 Qualitative Research Methods What is qualitative research? Qualitative research relies on data obtained by the researcher from first-hand observation, interviews, questionnaires, focus groups, participant observation, recordings made in natural settings. Table of Contents One underlying principle of naturalistic work Two ethical concerns Three data gatherings techniques Four data analysis tools and method Five developer grounded theory Six ensuring integrity Seven presentation of fundings Underlying principles of naturalistic work Naturalistic work seeks out all aspects of that complexity on the ground that they are essential to understanding the behavior of which they are a part. The values and context inherent in every human activity are posited as necessary to any analysis. The flexibility and sensitivity of the human instrument are critical to understanding this complexity, but rigorous efforts are required to make effective use of those qualities. Naturalism as a research Naturalism is an approach that posits reality as holistic, based in the perceptions of individuals and communities, and continually changing. Naturalism in LIS research. In LIS, qualitative research is usually most useful when the information interactions concerns are so new, so complex, or so unexplored that researchers are working to understand the cognitive Role of mixed or multi-method research A mixed methods or multi-methods approach, in some cases, provides then accessory array of data. Four basic principles Guide mixed method design 1. Determine and adhere to the theoretical impetus underpinning the project. 2. Work to account for the impact of the method that is brought into the primary methodological thrust. 3. Drive the design decisions from the assumptions of the base method. 4. Employ only the essential data sets. Ethical concerns. As in any research involving human beings, a number ethical concerns demand careful attention. The consent form that many participants must sign should spell out the mechanisms by which that confidentiality will be protected and the extent to which it will be breached. For example, if a transcription service is hired to handle taped interviews, then someone outside the study team will be hearing fee tapes. Data gathering techniques. The act of gathering data for a qualitative study is an evolving process rooted in going analysis. It involves more than obtaining discrete units of information, simply holding a preset number of interviews, for example, does not constitute meaningful data gathering. Instead, the researcher engages in reiterative, cyclic movement between data gathering and data analysis. Sampling. No single formula provides the correct sample size for a qualitative study. The depth, complexity, and richness of the data are critical, but identifying a representative sample is not even a consideration since the purpose of their search is to understand, not to generalize. The two criteria for determining the right number of interview participants are sufficiency and saturation. Observation. Observation is a broad category of data gathering in which the naturalistic Researcher must choose a point of balance between observing and participating. The setting and purpose determine the observation structure and format. For much LIS research, the setting varies along the following for continuum. 1. Number of participants. 2. Public vs. Private. 3. Size of the observable actions. 4. Staff for public interviews. Interviews are a valuable qualitative method for researchers who make effective choices along the continuum between structured and unstructured interviews. The structured interview is the mode of choice when the interviewer knows what he or she does not know and can therefore frame appropriate questions to find it out. 
While the unstructured interview is the mode of choice when the interviewer does not know what he or she doesn't know and must therefore rely on the respondent to tell him or her, documents, questionnaires, diaries, journals, papers and more. The written word can be a source of narrative or qualitative data. Materials written by participants diverge in their format, content, and impetus since these data sources are well. Data Analysis Tools and Method Two Principles of Qualitative Data Analysis First, analysis is an ongoing process that feeds back into the research design right up to the last moment of data gathering. Second, whatever theory, model, or working hypothesis eventually develops must grow naturally from the discourse analysis. The majority of LIS qualitative work seeks to understand populations within their information interaction contexts. A key subset of this work employs discourse analysis. Content analysis basics. Content analysis is based on theorize that the many words from interviews, observations, and documents can be reduced to or organized into categories in which words or word units e.g. paragraphs share the same central meaning or connotation. Content analysis terms. Before exploring the techniques of content analysis, it is necessary to review a few of the basic terms relating directly to coding. 1. A datum is a unit of information that is recorded in a durable medium. 2. Categories organize each datum by grouping it in with others that share similar denotations or connotations. 3. Themes then cluster categories that share some commonality, such as reference to a single issue. The constant comparative method of content analysis. The constant comparative method, codified by Glazer and Strauss, 1 to 2 is generally recognized as one of the most effective means of qualitative content analysis. Coding data. Among the many advantages of coding are that it one both follows upon and leads to generative questions two fractures the data thus freeing the researcher from description and forcing interpretation to higher levels of abstraction three is the pivotal operation for moving toward the discovery of a core category or categories four moves toward ultimate integration of the entire analysis five yields that desired conceptual density i.e relationships among the codes and the development of each. Coding lies at the heart of the constant comparative method in that units of data are compared to each other in terms of their fit into the developing coding scheme. Three different types of coding. Open coding is the initial, provisional work done on an unrestricted basis to produce concepts that fit the data. Axial coding takes place during the latter portions of open coding as major categories emerge from the data. Selective coding takes place as soon as open and axial coding have begun to establish core categories. Coding techniques. Only experience can translate the mechanics of coding guidelines into efficient, effective methods, but several techniques facilitate that process. Initially, during open coding, the researcher should look for terms used by the participants, using those terms as major coding terms. Moving from codes to theory, the process of moving from coding to theory or pattern generation is ongoing, but when saturation has been reached it is necessary to leave the field and begin the final analysis. Ensuring coding integrity. During coding, three techniques help ensure the integrity of the work. First. The acceptable reliability level must be established prior to test coding and met regularly before final coding. Second, face validity is necessary but far from sufficient. Developing grounded theory. Grounded theory work values the process of continuously developing, refining, and enhancing theory in recognition of the contributions that other studies and minds can make to the original effort. 172 The explanations of these theories are grounded in the details, evidence, and examples. 173 of the data. Ensuring integrity. 
Ensuring integrity is no more difficult for naturalistic work than it is for positivist work, but again, the means differ. Primary techniques. Coordinated collection of sufficient data is ensured through the use of prolonged engagement, persistent observation, and triangulation. Peer debriefing requires submitting the research process and resultant analysis to an unaffiliated and perhaps critical peer for rigorous review and open input. Additional techniques. Ilfreda Chapman's 199 to techniques for seeking reliability, which shed a find as to the degree to which observations are reported as consistent with some phenomenon. During the lifespan of the were varied, she died off of the following consistently took notes, immersed herself in the setting, exposed herself to multiple situations, and built on what she learned. Presentation of Findings There are five points specific to the presentation of qualitative research findings that Beer mentioned. First, in almost any forum, it may be necessary to explain the concepts behind naturalistic methods. Second, qualitative research requires great detail and explication of both data gathering and data analysis, as does sound quantitative research. With care taken to recognize that the quality controls must be adjusted to context. To summarize it all, as LIS scholars lead the information communities development of information systems and services for users, they must maintain a solid grounding in the purpose behind their work. Thank you for watching. Visit Bliss Nana Scott's channel.